Health experts are worried about this holiday weekend as people got together and went shopping. Today, the Oregon Health Authority reported nearly 1,600 new cases of COVID. There were over 1,600 cases reported yesterday. That means well over 3,000 cases in just 48 hours. Also, we passed a grim milestone in Oregon. Now more than 900 people have died from the virus. The deaths of nine additional people reported today. 11 deaths were reported yesterday. We're also keeping a close eye on hospitalizations. OHA is reporting that 539 patients with COVID-19 are being treated right now at medical centers across the state. That's 10 more than yesterday. 107 of those people are in the ICU. And hospitals in our state are expected to reach capacity in just a couple of weeks. Health officials are concerned that many people have not heeded the warnings to stay home over the holiday weekend. Let's go now to Fox Phillips' Kendra Kent, who's live out at PDX tonight, where the airport has been really its busiest in quite a while, right, Kendra? Yeah, that's right, Wayne. In fact, today is the busiest travel day for PDX here of the Thanksgiving weekend, and I definitely was able to notice an uptick today as compared to when I was here on Tuesday. Now, airport officials say more than 25,000 people will come out of in and out of PDX here today, and for health officials, that is plenty reason to be nervous for what's to come. It's PDX's busiest day of the Thanksgiving weekend. And locals are back home Sunday night after spending the holiday spread across the country. Yeah, we were in Dallas, Texas. We went to see family for Thanksgiving. We went to uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Warm weather and the chance to visit his girlfriend's family lured Alejandro Echeverri to the desert state. We definitely talked it over. It wasn't the easiest decision. I wouldn't say we, we wanted to make sure that down there wasn't as bad as up here. Cause they probably got pretty much have the same guidelines as us, so I felt you know relatively safe and could do most of the things that we plan out to do. With Thanksgiving behind us, state and federal health officials now brace for the repercussions. The expected super surge in COVID-19 cases due to all the traveling. We made the plans back in June, so yeah, okay. we didn't want to cancel, and it turned out being definitely worth the trip. Annalise Hutley says her family felt perfectly safe flying to Texas. So there were rows open in between us. So there was an open seat in between us. They had hand sanitizer. They were passing out. Everybody had masks on. To be honest, we weren't really that afraid to travel or, or to go fly out there. I mean, it's not something that we're as concerned about. As for Ajaveri, it's back to work Monday. Unfortunately, for, at least for what I do, I, I wouldn't be able to do the two week quarantine. Um, but I mean, I mean, I advised my job that I was going out and they just kind of told me, you know, stay safe. And Washington, Oregon and California earlier this month joined together to issue a travel advisory. They're asking that people who traveled self quarantine for two weeks upon arriving to the states and also asking travelers from these states to also self quarantine once they get back home. Reporting tonight at PDX, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon. Can